girls, welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week. Um, so this week, what we're gonna be doing is we are going into their emotions. Now, reason for that is tonight is a super moon, okay? So what's happening is there's gonna be a lot of fiery, feisty energy as we're going into Scorpio. So be prepared for a little bit of drama, be prepared for your emotions to kind of be on a high, uh, you're gonna feel a lot of passionate, sexual energy kind of going on. It's gonna be quite an intense moon and it's the last one that we're having this year. So really be prepared. Um, if this is a time that you guys feel like letting go, remember people always say the full moon is to bring stuff into your life. Actually, it's the other way around. When the moon is full, it means it's time to release stuff. When the moon is new, it means it's time to bring stuff into your life. So if there's anything that you guys feel that you need to release now, tonight would be the perfect time to do it and um, perfect time to cleanse any chakra decks crystals anything like that pop them all in your window so let them let the magical moon do its job so on that note we've been I've been drawn to kind of more mystical witchy kind of decks um, so it's just it feels right with the super moon tonight so that is what we are using so this is going to be deck number one and this is going to be deck number two so we're going into your person's emotions today sometimes when we say their feelings it, it covers an overall basis but with emotions it goes really deep into their energy and what they're feeling so deck number one deck number two go to where you are drawn first of all and then once you've got that feeling of being drawn to the specific deck um Feel as if you can, from your heart energy, think about your person and push that energy into the deck. So feel it going into the deck that you want, merging your energies with that deck, using energy, energy, emotion, emotion. Lovely. Cool, let's go. So deck number one, as always, as you know, how we work, um, we being me and my guides, we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. So it will pull out the strongest mutual energy with everyone watching. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Deck number one's energy. Can we get into deck one's person's energy? So think about your person for me, can you a collective energy on that coolio okay and let's do the collective's thought feelings energy emotions and thought processes of that person we and all possibilities probabilities choices chances and changes of that person. So I've just got a song coming through my right ear, um, and it's, I can't remember who sings it, it's quite, I think it was from the 90s, and it says, oh, think twice, it's just another day for you in paradise, I wanna say. Can you tell me what is their person's emotions for them? So it's kind of that they're really thinking about what they want, what direction they want to go in, but the, the idea of you and them is kind of paradise. I believe that's what the lyrics are. It's definitely what someone is singing, one of my guys is singing in the right ear. Okay, can you tell me what are their emotions for those watching in deck number one? And we have some clear jumpers, cool. What are their emotions? Again, this kind of fire energy is coming up into the cards. Gonna be very feisty, few days, specifically few days, but it's gonna be more than that um, it, going into the month until until the next full moon. But we have, you know, with this feisty energy, it's gonna be bringing in a lot of the, the stuff that's been hidden back that you felt perhaps you haven't been able to say your piece on, it's gonna be bringing it up to the surface to be communicated about. So if you guys aren't in contact, it is highly likely over this full moon that you are going to get some kind of communication. Okay, so what are your person's emotions towards you? We're going to kind of start off with you because you're coming up to the forefront of this. That you guys watching are feeling quite stuck in this situation. You wanted to give it time, you wanted to give it growth and at the moment you're feeling as if even though it's kind of spring and new things are happening um, you're feeling as if it's kind of a little bit dead end and nothing is really going on and that's giving you this frustration. You cannot gauge how your person is feeling, you cannot gauge what your person is thinking about you, it's highly likely with you guys watching that sometimes they're quite blowing hot with you, then they're blowing cold with you and you're trying to find that middle ground to work out what it is that they're actually feeling and you're kind of not getting anywhere. So when that happens, you go off and one in your head, you add two and two, you make 20, 
coming up with the solutions to the the situation but you haven't quite gauged the energy not always but sometimes you haven't gauged the energy correctly um, you're trying to obviously when we have time we don't you know we don't communicate with someone or the communication's a little bit sparse your ego is going to take over and essentially that's kind of what's been happening here now we have a bird a spirit of drawing me to this a murmuration which is all the birds on this deck and um, it's kind of like you guys are, are wanting in a certain way to break free a little bit from the situation more so from your thought process than your actual person and um, but you'd like some kind of movement from them and with these kind of murmurations where it's showing me clairvoyantly you know all the birds swooping around murmurations when all the birds go off on one all together and it and it goes with the flow of it and that is essentially what spirit are saying here is that with this situation just go with the flow of it try not to force it try not to force them to talk to you about how they are feeling they will open up to you when the time is right so so don't get yourself in a situation where you're feeling sticky and stagnant. Remember who you are, manifest your situation moving forward. If you need manifesting plans, give me a shout. When I first started the channel, I did a public reading on manifesting and it's linked in all the public descriptions. So you can go and watch that. But if you need an in-depth personal plan, uh, just give me a shout and we can get that going for you. Um, but definite kind of movement forward from your thought process. You're gonna be breaking away from this kind of period of everything's a little bit dull and nothing's really happening I'm ready for this moment of rebirth so that's where your energy is at the moment now your person's energy it's quite interesting that you've got the high priestess we've pulled the hierophant on here but he's or, or hierophant however you want to say it but he's coming up as the high priest so what this is showing over here is this is the a kind of very very deep spiritual connection and your person is fully aware about that now they're not always able to communicate with you about this connection so if you've been hoping that they'll suddenly open up and talk to you about twin flames or soulmates and things like that it is kind of unlikely that that is going to be happening at the moment because even though they can feel this connection between the two of you they do get a little bit frightened by it um, and try to, to kind of run away from it but what is certain is when we're talking about emotions is that they haven't felt this way about anyone before in their entire life there is a very strong bond between the two of you and there is a very strong love and they are aware about that but they just have these kind of fears that kind of go with it why is this intensity there why do they have this connection with you and not with anyone else that they've had in the past what is it about this situation with you and they try and get to the answers of it but when it comes to a more spiritual side of things a lot of your people as a generic all of you watching um, a lot of your people have a little bit of a freak out you know obviously there are more opened up spiritually inclined people your your person is watching um, those that are more spiritually inclined sorry your people that are more spiritually inclined um, is aware of things like this but again it's still kind of freaking them out a little bit so they do panic over it they might have kind of cut you off a little bit at the moment or they've been trying to use their intuition to guide situations and again this fiery energy is coming forward so if you guys have had a fallout or you've thrown kind of balls of fire at one another this is potentially going to be coming up as well especially with this this full moon that there is likely to be a few kind of drama resurfacing it, itself so stuff that perhaps you felt that you had left in the part in the past is going to be resurfacing in the coming weeks slash months um and there's going to be trying to really balance your emotions with communication your person is going to be trying to open up to you on a more emotional level um with communication but it's it it's likely for a few of you um, that with these kind of fireballs and the energy that's going to be happening, that perhaps they're not going to say specifically what you want them to say or what you want them to hear uh, or what you want to hear. Sorry. Um, so again, we have this kind of full moon over the top. You have your heart energy. You have your communication energy coming forward. And over here, we have these this fireball. So it's like there, there needs to be a bit of a clearing happening between you guys. There's a lot of stuff that has built up from the past and that energy really needs to be cleared between you all um, so that you can move forward with your person. You can move forward into the next steps of where this relationship is going. Really kind of rebalancing the energies and this full moon, the super moon is coming to do that. It's coming to give you this rebalancing of your energies. The other side of things over here, your person has a lot of fears that come up from the situation situation um, they're scared that if they get themselves deeply involved in this situation that they're going to end up feeling alone feeling a bit isolated that you perhaps you're not going to be able to understand them understand their emotions but they do have very very strong feelings for you and um, remember that the two 
two duality opposites of love is love and fear. It's not love and hate. So when your person is standing in this kind of love-based energy, the fear of that love also comes up to the surface. And they've got fear of where it's going, fear of the future. You know, they're not really focusing on the moment. They're thinking, well, if we get together and, and, and we move ourselves forward, I've got this kind of fear of what if it doesn't work out? What if I fall, you know, the love that I have for this person, I'm gonna fall deeply in love with them and then they're gonna leave me, I'm gonna end up heartbroken again, etc., etc. So they're on a little bit of self-protect going on here. And again, that's perhaps why with their communication, they haven't opened up to you to the extent that you would like them to. So they're looking out towards the future, they're hopeful of a future with you, but with that hope comes fear um, but the love for you is very very strong now on the other side of things over here what they're hoping for is that they're going to make these slow steady movement towards you and you're going to have this chance of a more stable new beginning so your person is very very hopeful that you guys are going to be together they're very hopeful that you know they can have a new birth of the two of you being together. Um, but basically, you just need to rewrite stuff that's happened in the past, have your big fireball kind of issues coming up to the surface, talk it through, and from there, you two are gonna be making these moves to a more stable beginning with one another regardless of their circumstances. So even if they're with someone else and you're thinking, oh, I'm not sure about that, Spirit is still saying that this is still applies, that they will still be making slow, steady movement to you. It might feel like it's on the back of a snail, but there is this movement coming up, coming forward. Um, so their emotions for you are very, very strong. There's also a magical side to this. Again, it's coming up with the spiritual connection you guys have. It's not something that can easily be swept under the carpet. Their emotions for you are very, very strong. And even if they choose to hide away from the emotions, go out of contact, glow, go hot and cold, blow away from you, it's not going to last, they will still come back towards you. Yes, it's slow, yes, it's steady, but it's there. Okay, and with that being that you have your stable new beginnings. A lot of this is gonna be based on them wanting security and stability to, so that they can put these fears to bed that they're gonna get hurt. They are very worried that their heart is gonna get broken again. And I'll keep saying again, because it looks like a majority of you, your people have been through this pain before. Um, perhaps with someone else, perhaps with you, but there is this definite fear of what if it happens again. But they do want to be with you. They, they have these very strong emotions for you. And yes, your situations are quite complicated, but if we take away the complications, we go down to the root of it, this is where their heart lies, and their heart lies with you. They know that they need to open up. They know that they need to communicate. This, uh, this super moon is really gonna start shifting things, giving a big urge and a push for things to move forward in your direction. Um, you know, again, balancing the communication, balancing the emotions, trying to be a lot more stable footed with it. Now, again, with this kind of feisty, fiery energy, the potential for arguments is here. So when they say things to you and communicate with you, try not to get your back up about it. Take a step back before you reply. You know, if they say something that seems a little bit underhanded or a little bit off, take a step back. Think about it and then reply, don't just reply with your fireball because that's gonna end up having a massive explosion between the two of you. Um, if you guys are not in communication, again, it's the same kind of energy, it looks to be movement coming forward in the coming weeks, um, and then you have this kind of fireball energy coming forward. So just be a little bit careful how you handle the situation with them. Really go with the flow of it, like the birds say, the murmuration, go with the flow of it. Um, there's gonna be a chance for your, your bear tree to be gaining new life, and if you have have a look on here as well we know that this card is your person we know that this card is you and both of you are wearing your emotional capes but the capes as well you guys are also kind of on a little bit of self-protect as well because you're scared of having this tree left barren and um and bare and you're thinking well i want to have this tree of life i want to have this new beginning i want to have love i want to have passion i want to have everything and i'm looking towards my tree and it's completely bare your person is looking towards the future looking outside thinking oh well what if it doesn't work out and between you both you can see this mirroring energy coming forward your energy their energy wanting the same things but both having fears residing over the situation so again take a step back from it um you know 
try and focus on the moment rather than the future. As the Dalai Lama said, if you focus on the past, you have depression, focus on the future, you have anxiety. Stay in the moment. And that's gonna give you a lot more inner peace with the situation going the way that it has. And over here, again, your divine coupling, okay? So it's looking really positive. Their emotions for you are very strong. Um, you've got this movement kind of happening, coming forward for you guys. Um, they're focusing on getting the stability. They have these fears. Um, echoing love okay so they're not hating it's just that love you know fear is the opposite of love all of that is going on but there looks to be movement and communication this person does love you they're a little bit frightened about the connection because the energy between the two of you is so intense but equally they know that they're never going to find a connection like this with anyone else on the earth and that's a very very deep statement because there are billions of people on this earth but they know that they're never gonna find someone that they connect with in the way that they connect with you. They are having this awakening process of waking up and knowing that, acknowledging that, and through that, you've got this slow, steady movement to offer you a new beginning. So there are emotions for you, they run deep, Spirit are saying, they run deep. And when we go back to that song, uh, Think Twice, I'll oh, Think Twice, it's another day for you and me in paradise. If we go back to that song, um, it just kind of reiterates everything they're saying. Yeah, they are thinking it through. They're probably thinking it doubly through, but this is what they want. They want that paradise with you. They want this connection. They want this connection to grow, to develop, but you're gonna have to go at their speed, which is a little bit frustrating for you lot, but it's, it's gonna be, if you can go at their speed, it's gonna turn out in your favor. If you try and push it and don't go with the flow of it, if you don't go like the birds and go like the murmuration, if you try and push it, this could all go peak tongue, you're gonna end up with fireballs and kind of things flying everywhere and, and not working out into this divine connection here. Um, but if you do really go with the flow of it, try not to control it. This is looking really promising for the two of you to be building, merging, connecting, um, and bringing forward a future for you both. And that is deck number one. Okay, mini, uh, go have some water, do deck number two. Okay, beauties, deck number two. I forgot to say, um, this is my cousin's artwork. He's a spiritual artist, um, Patrick Gamble. You can go have a look at him on the internet. He's a spiritual artist, and my gran that passed away, uh, she had these since the 90s, and they got passed to me um, in the post a, a couple of days back, and I thought, I'm gonna put a montage for my gran and, and for my cousin. Oh, so yeah, his artwork's absolutely beautiful. So if you're wondering why we have a montage, that, that is why. Uh, all my cousin's artwork. Okay, let's do deck number two. Right, so, 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 so. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's energy? Can we get into the collector's energy of their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes? So as always, as you know, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. We go into all your energy, we go into all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all makes sense right uh, so regardless of your circumstances it's your energy with everyone merged in so if it doesn't resonate it's probably because you're not part of the strongest energy between everyone else so you might want a private reading my turnaround time is down at the moment because uh, England are still on on lockdown I have I am just focusing on work at the moment I'm getting up working 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 like every single day so if you want to turn around uh, a reading the turnaround time is down to the lowest it's been since I started the channel seven to 14 days. Okay, can you tell me what is their person's emotions for deck number two? What are they feeling? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, interesting. What are their emotions? Three, four. Oh, my beauties. You lot are struggling at the moment. Let's just put it into one to the better word. Your person has been a bit of an a-hole. I know you love them, but essentially that's kind of what's happened between you guys. What are their emotions? Two, three, four. Okay, so you guys at the top are feeling very, very low, very, very sad, feeling very, very heartbroken, um, feeling as if your kind of heart's been shattered into a thousand pieces at the moment. And you're trying to stay strong, you're trying to stay in your power-based energy, but really, 
it's kind of like every single waking moment you're having this pain rushing through your heart you're feeling very very low um, now regardless of what's happened between you guys it looks like your person has caused some grief with you all um, either walked away cause some pain, not text you back. Whatever it is, there is this kind of heartbreak and pain that is following you. Now, with your person, what's happening at the moment is they're being quite stubborn about the situation and they are viewing it right now as over. It is not gonna last, but this is currently where they are feeling. So the moment they've walked away or hid away or gone out of contact with you, um, left the situation behind, and you're really feeling the heartbreak from it, and at the moment your person is being stubborn and actually trying not to think about the situation and what's happened. Now, following this, what's gonna happen with you guys is you, as time progresses, you're gonna start feeling better, you're gonna start coming out of this heartbreak energy, and this is when the energy is gonna transfer to your person. So, and you will be standing strong and your person is going to start feeling really, really low and really sad over the situation, okay? So at the moment, you're feeling the heartbreak, time's going to progress. This is a matter of weeks, by the way, not months. Time's going to progress, your person is going to start feeling the heartbreak. Definite feeling of loss coming through over here. Okay, I just got Lose You To Love Me. That's coming up in your energy, uh, a song for you what's going to happen even though you can't feel it at the moment this heartbreak over here is that the more you progress through it you will gain that self-love for yourself and your person is really going to start struggling with the situation now from that this kind of cards flip again and we have the death cock stepping in in a new light with the emperor in that your person is going to want to make moves back towards you so the death card from where you are at the moment your death card with your person is going to be a death as in breaking um the no contact breaking where the situation is so it's going to flip the other way Okay, so at the moment, you're in the heartbreak. Then the heartbreak, the time's going to be given. You're going to start feeling better. Your person's going to start feeling the heartbreak. I flipped that the wrong way around. Your person's going to start feeling the heartbreak. Then when your person feels the heartbreak, they are going to, the death card is going to change to a new birth of the situation, okay? So your person's probably said to you, oh, I want time alone. I want time to be single. I need this. I need that in my life. Um, I want to see who else is about. I want to be like this. I want to be like that. Maybe, you know, along those lines and it's left you feeling very, very hurt. It's not gonna last, all right? It won't last, but at the moment, your person is being very, very stubborn on that. So when, the, the biggest thing here, which you guys are gonna hate, is time, okay? Time is gonna be what reverses the situation round. At the moment, your person is feeling that they can be okay without you. I don't know if any of you have ever looked up the 30 day contact rule, no contact rule even, uh, but if you haven't, it's worth having a look at 30 day no contact rule um, if you guys are not in communication, okay? Because in this 30 days, if you step away from the situation and you do not communicate with them, the most likely outcome for the majority of you is gonna be that your person does come back towards you, kind of missing you, wanting to be with you, craving your energies. And that's why the death card is coming up in kind of different ways, different spreads, so <clears throat> they've probably said to you, oh, I want time alone, I want time to do this, I want time to do that. They are hiding away from their emotions of love with you at the moment, but they have got very strong feelings for you. And I know that you guys, if you look at this, I love this card, everything is fine and she's there with her phone in her hand waiting for a text message and you guys are feeling stuck thinking, come on, would you just pick up the phone and answer me or, or text me or do something and you're feeling in this very kind of trapped, sticky, stagnant energy. You guys kind of need time out at the moment and I know you're not gonna like me saying that but you do need time out. Your person needs to know what they are missing or needs to know what they are losing. They haven't treated you in the way that you deserve um, and they are fully kind of aware of that but at the moment they're being stubborn now the more time you break away from them and leave them be the more they are going to come towards you um, with this missing energy and that heartbreak card is going to transfer to them so that they're going to be really feeling this loss of you okay so where you are at the moment you will you will start to feel better you will start to feel stronger. You will, you know, that lose you to love me song. You will feel in that power-based energy. And that, when you start feeling like that, 
that is when the energies are gonna re-tip in your direction. The scales are gonna tip back into your favor and your person is gonna start feeling everything that you have been feeling recently. So at the moment, you're in a bit of a crappy situation, crappy feeling, crappy energy, but the scales, when you start to feel better, the scales are gonna tip and everything you are feeling is gonna be on your person. And then they're gonna be waiting for you to text. They're gonna be seeing where are you, stalking social media, keeping tabs on you, doing what they can to just try and stay close to you to try and stay in this connection and there looks to be some jealousy issues kind of going on with you guys as well um, on your person's part as well as your part they haven't told you that they are jealous um, but they are jealous of you they don't want you to move forward they don't want you to be with anyone else um, they are very frightened of that happening and again if you're not in communication that panic, that fear is gonna come up to the surface and that'll be another reason why they want to communicate with you while they get, um, why they get their movers on. Now it's interesting, these two bottom cards, we've got two sevens and we've got two nines. So, so with regard to timings, we're probably looking at a July and, uh, what's the ninth month? September, okay, so two split timings within this deck. Again, remember timing, uh, it is fluid, so it can change. And because your person's got free will, it can change, but the timings are always right here, right now, as we do your cards. So we have this jealousy kind of coming up, um, working through these kind of fears, working through these energies, looking towards what it is they should do about the situation, still looking towards you. Again, at the moment, very stubborn energy. Remember as well, I was saying in depth one, we've got a super moon tonight. Uh, the super moon is very, very, it's going into Scorpio, so there's a lot of feisty, fiery energy going on. So it's like, you know, uh, drama can resurface, stuff from the past can come up and it needs to kind of explode. Issues need to kind of happen for, your situations to move forward. Um, you're gonna be feeling very sexual, your person's gonna be feeling very sexual, and that vibe is gonna be happening kind of tonight, the next couple of days, and then going forward until the next uh, full moon. So with this kind of energy, this is where the jealousy is coming forward as well. Um, they would like to feel at peace with the situation, but they don't. They're just hiding away from it. They're just not acting on anything. There is no peace within them at all. They're thinking maybe this is too much hard work, this is too much of a good thing, maybe I don't deserve it, um, what can I do, what should I do, oh, I'll just leave it be. Let them go, you know, if they wanna do that, leave them to it, they'll come back to you. Um, you know, it's that saying, give them enough rope, let them hang themselves, and I hate that saying, but it's kind of the literal energy of it, you know, you give them the space, you give them the time, they will realize what it is that they are missing and wanting to come back towards you, wanting to reach out to you seeing where you guys are, seeing where it's kind of heading. Um, and from there, with your two nines, um, we have this energy of, I've worked out what I want, I'm feeling fully abundant, I'm feeling better about the situation, but at the same time, your person's gonna be like, have I really shot myself in the foot here? Have I really messed this up? And then, you know, it's gonna be a complete flip of energies. So at the moment, their emotions are okay because they're hiding away from it, but when the energies re-tip, the scales of justice are gonna balance, they're gonna go, back into your favor, your person's really gonna be feeling totally shit. There's no other way to explain it. Um, wanting to reach out, thinking shit, have I really messed this up? Have I made a bollocks? And again, them staring at the phone, thinking everything's fine, no, I'm okay, I'm okay, but where are you? You know, feeling panicking, feeling worrying, feeling stuck, feeling like I need to do something about the situation. Um, and this is when this movement, again, is gonna be coming back towards you. So give them the time, give them the space, give them what essentially what they've been asking for. You know, if that's what they want, give it to them. Let them have it. Remember, the egg does not chase the sperm. And I know we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on that channel, but with uh, spiritual energies, we work with masculine and feminine energies, okay? So you have to take it as that is. Um, so their emotions for you as a whole, at the moment, they are a not acknowledging their emotions. But if we took out that acknowledgement, Spirit's saying if we took them into a space where they did acknowledge their emotions, they would be extremely hurt at this moment in time, okay? So just because they're not acknowledging it, just because they're hiding away from it, doesn't mean that they aren't feeling it. At the moment, there feels like there's a relief a release that they're okay but it's not gonna last that heartbreak is there underneath the surface and once they've had time that heartbreak is not gonna have anywhere to hide it's not just gonna run away heartbreak doesn't just go 
So it's gonna come up to the surface and then they're gonna be really panicking, really worrying, and with the jealousy coming forward, they're gonna be thinking, shit, have I lost them? How can I get back to them? What should I do? You know, why aren't they texting me? Why aren't they chasing me? Why aren't they calling me? What are they doing? Are they moving on? Are they with someone else? And that panic is gonna get them to shift back into your favor. They do have very strong emotions for you. They do have very, very strong feelings for you. Um, but at the moment, they just want to pretend that the whole thing kind of never happened and go into complete denial over it. But it won't last. It won't last. It will last temporarily, but it won't last full term. Um, and from that, you know, with your sevens and your nines, you have got a shift in this energy. Your, your vibrations are going to be shifting. And what you are feeling, your person is going to be feeling. Um, and with you, once you start to feel better, you will still have that heartbreak and pain, but you will be coming to terms with it. And when you come to terms with it, once you release the situation, your person comes back. It's that beautiful paradigm, isn't it? Of, um, you know, when you want something really, really badly and you hold on to it and you want it, you want it, you want it, and it never comes. And then when you let it go, you're like, you know what? I'll see what happens, I'm gonna release it, then it comes to you. Reason for that is the universal law of, um, of space, the universal law of releasing. Once we release a situation or surrender it, um, it means that the universe has to fill it with something equal to or more than. When we try and sit there and control it and hold on to it, we can't create anything new or create anything old coming back. You just get into a sticky, stagnant energy. But once you let it go, um, and I don't mean let it go, move on, let, remember letting go and moving on are two separate things. Letting go is simply saying to the universe, okay, you're in control, you know what I want, I'm going to try and let it out of my energy, I'm going to do some release work, I'm going to move myself forward, and when I do that, your person will come back um, because you'll have, have released the situation. So universal law of space, situation's been released, space has been created, has to be matched by something equal to or more than. Now, if you're not sure if you actually want your person after all of this, what you can say to the universe is, dear universe, if it isn't blah, your person's name, please send me someone better that I will love equally or more than. And when you do that, again, that space has to be filled. So if you need manifesting plan, give me a shout. Manifesting plans, uh, I work with you specifically on a one-to-one -one basis, tailor them, tailor them to your needs, uh, and we bring into your life what it is that you're asking for. You have to do the work, we'll give you the tools for you to do the work. Um, so if you need one, just give me a shout. Um, and that is essentially it. So your person does care in a very weird way. They do care about you. They are just hiding away from this care, hiding away from this heartbreak at the moment. Um, but it's it won't last forever. It's only ever temporary. My guide is saying, you know, um, you can hide away from emotions, you can hide away from feelings, but they will always come back to the surface. Everything in life is temporary, including heartbreak, including emotions, uh, hiding away from emotions, sorry. That's what you're saying. So, you know, it will come and it will shift back in your favor. It's interesting how the balancing energies, your justice scales are being retipped. It's possible that you guys have got karma as well in this lifetime. So um, if you need past life readings, I do them as well. I'm updating the website at the moment. Um, and once that's updated, I'm gonna have all the reading types that I do on there because I haven't updated it. So that's gonna, I'm getting that sorted so you can go and have a really good look over it when it's done, it's not done yet. Um, but past life readings really kind of clear that energy between you guys, clear that karmic energy, and it can give you a new lust for life, it will give you a new direction, it will stop this kind of niggly bonds that's holding you both together and make you feel brighter and better about the situation. Your person's just been a bit of an idiot, you know? Um, they have been an idiot, they are hiding away from their emotions, but it won't last, they will come back, they will message, they will you know, try and research this relationship between the two of you. Um, there's hurt on both sides, but your person's just better at the moment than that hiding on it, whereas you guys are better at acknowledging it. And once you acknowledge it, you can move forward through it. Your person can't, they're stuck. And they will be more stuck and your roles will switch. They do, they do care about you deeply. They do have love emotions for you. They do think that you are the one. I, I just got Chesney Hawks and what I am the one and only. He does, your person, or not he, again, never sexually orientated or gender specific. They do know that you are the one and only for them. But at the moment, they're just quite pissed off at the situation and quite good at like, oh, I'm gonna cut it out, I'm gonna block you, I'm gonna move away, I'm gonna be fine, won't last won't last.
Okay guys, and that is deck number two. So if you need me, uh, I'll put all the details in the description. As I said, turnaround time is down to the lowest since I started the channel uh, because this girl is on lockdown, so all I am doing is working. Um, so if you need me, just give me a shout. I love you all lots. I will speak to you soon. Uh, take care and God bless guys. Bye.